Now to a closer look at that report, which shows a jobs uh, market that's robust and helping boost the economy. Quarter million people were added to payrolls in September. Dick Brennan talked with New Yorkers about what it means to them. So I feel like uh, we're getting there. It's definitely a beginning. Kenya Paredes of Long Island City is upbeat about the economic news, along with other New Yorkers. I think with interest rates starting to go down, uh, the economy could definitely get better. Maybe now I can actually afford to purchase an apartment. Hopefully we start seeing groceries come down in price a little bit. It's good when uh, the economy is booming because that means I get commercial work and uh, people are willing to spend money and hire me. But others feel they're still playing catch up. The notion of a middle class is quickly fading away. Marco Vigeas of Harlem says it's too hard for many to make ends meet. The fact of the matter is like what people are making is not catching up to what it costs to live anywhere, right? Let alone New York City. The September jobs report added the most jobs since March, topping Wall Street expectations with the unemployment rate ticking down. Hourly wages jumped 4 percent over the last year, outpacing inflation. Restaurants and bars led the way, bringing on 69,000 jobs, and many of those workers are making more money. I think the superstar of this report, annual wages. This means that workers should actually see more money hitting their bank accounts, and I think that's going to help people manage the higher prices that we've seen. President Biden was taking credit. We were told time and again that the policies we were pursuing, we would put forward, weren't, weren't going to work, make things worse, including some of the other team are still saying they're going to make things worse. But we've proven them wrong. While former President Trump has been campaigning on his economic record. Inflation has uh, devastated our economy. It's one of the big problems we have. And with this economic news, analysts predict that the Fed will cut interest rates two more times this year. The next decision comes in November. On the West Side, Dick Brennan, CBS News, New York.